everyone welcome to my youtube channel so today we are building a home for the bff household so this is for my main save file and yeah so i'm using all the packs because i just i think that's fun for me doing all base game is just it's impossible there's only so many items that i like from the base game and i just i don't want to use them over and over again so i feel like i just i can't do like a base game save file I mean, I could, but I feel like I just probably wouldn't like it as much as I would like to. Um, so yeah, right now we're just trying to figure out like the floor plan and everything. I put down some placement furniture. So where the living room is now, it turns into the bedroom and I made like the first part an entrance instead because I was like, maybe this makes the most sense. I did want to do like a side entrance because I barely do that. So yeah, I decided maybe I should. Yeah, anyways, I don't know. I changed my not I changed my mind at the end of it so yeah um anyways so I decided to put all of them or no I decided to put Liberty and um Travis in university so Travis is going to be a tech guru um he was already that but I decided you know what I want them to be university students because I think that's fun and then Liberty is going to be an astronaut so she's in whatever degree that is um so yeah I already have that set up and cheated for them and then summer, I keep wanna call in, I just, I don't know, I keep being like um, Liberty for summer, I don't know. But summer, she is in the culinary career level four and I was thinking like, maybe she lied to her parents and saying like, oh, I am in university just so she could like get this house because I'm thinking like, oh, maybe her parents are well off. Um, that was just like my thought process. Obviously, I don't really have their parents. I don't know, like, should I create their parents? I don't know if I want to do that because that's a lot of work. Because, like, obviously, like, you know, it's just you have to start somewhere, I guess. But I don't know, like, should I make their family? I'm very unsure. But yeah, anyways, I do have like a whole story for them. So I didn't, I don't know, I kind of made it very drama focused I guess is how I like switch the story up so I believe the story is like oh Travis and or no Summer and Liberty has like this huge crush on Travis and I kind of decided to rewrite it a little bit so there's like drama so in the description I'm planning to say Summer and Liberty were high school besties they decided to move in together and found the perfect home except they needed a roommate they searched until they met their perfect person, Travis. Summer and Liberty could tell they both were attracted to him and both agreed to not let some random boy come between their friendship. Secretly, they both saw Travis and kept it a secret as Travis played along. Will this? Will the truth come out? Will Summer and Liberty remain friends or could they become a throuple? So that is my thought process. Um, obviously, things could change. And for Liberty, I believe she only has like the logic skill, so I could obviously change that but we're not there yet um because like changes or I guess stories could possibly I guess change because I think it would be interesting if they also knew people from or outside of their household because like surely right like I don't know like what if Liberty had like some long lost sister that lives in Oasis Springs or San Machino I don't know it could be fun um I'm thinking way too far ahead though so like like, when I say the end, like, the end, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be complete to the very end because, obviously, I might want to make some changes. So, yeah. So, like, obviously, on your console, if you're on console, you have to just, like, download them so, like, they don't come with the changes. Um, I was thinking, like, obviously, at the end, I could upload everything because they'll probably be very far, far apart. So, if, like, if I upload this now... And then if I decide to upload it when everything is done, it, it won't be like next to each other. So it won't be too bad if I have to like re-upload it if I decide to change anything. But yeah, also if I like, it just sucks how you can't like download save files on console. I just, I don't know. It just sucks because like obviously the drama or the August lore won't be there because it just, I don't know. I don't know. It just, it won't be the same because obviously if I do create a long lost sister for Liberty, you would have to like connect them yourself because obviously I'm not going to upload them in the same household because they don't live together. So yeah, that that's, like my, that's kind of like the only part that sucks. You would have to like put people in the same household to like 
make them related and then move them out and that's like a lot especially if I plan to do every world I don't think I want to do every world because like I don't know when was snowy escape the first time they let creators build for the pack yeah so I don't think I want to do too much for those worlds I could just do a little bit if I wanted to but I don't think I'll touch them that much um, I don't know, but anyways, we're working on the living room. I tried, I don't know, I wanted this to seem like, you know, college students, and I feel like some, no, Liberty's and Travis's bedrooms are kind of like screaming teenager, but like in my head they just aged up and now they're starting in college, and yeah, um, and I feel like Summer's bedroom is more mature, um, so I guess that's good for her, but like, I don't know like this house obviously is not cheap but I don't plan on playing in it obviously because they just live here so I don't think it's too bad to like cheat for money in this situation if there's like already a family living here but when I try to make the other homes obviously I would want them to vary in price so like a starter home price um I don't know maybe a mid I don't know like 30,000 simoleon home or something or even 50,000 I'm, I'm not very sure but um, the house across from this, I'm supposed to, like, create a household for them. Um, I haven't done that yet. Honestly, it's been so long, so I kind of forgot, like, what they did. Um, I did just remember, so, like, um, I'm pretty sure one of them is a veterinarian, and then the other one is a landlord. Um, because I was thinking beside that home, I would put, like, townhomes or something. Um, because, like, that lot is so big. I think it's, like, a 40 by 30. I think there's two 40 by 30 lots over here. So, yeah, um, also that one lot is just, is facing the wrong way, which is so annoying. So when I upload it to the gallery, it's probably going to be like the side of the building, unless I decide to build it the way it's supposed to be, which is weird because why, why is this one facing different than the others? But anyways, and then beside this home, I was thinking we could do like a park, um, cause that would be nice cause there probably will be kids on this lot. Um, so yeah, so the BFF household is just living right next to their old lot because I was like, they don't need to live in that big lot. It's too big. Like, that's insane. Um, that's like a little too much, but yeah, um, I'm trying to think of like how many Sims I want to live in this certain neighborhood. So, so far we have two, like obviously the Sims and then the Sims are going to make for, um, the, across the street, I guess. Um, those sims and I probably would want at least one sim living in like the townhomes or the duplexes I build um so yeah and then there would be like probably another starter home um for the one that's um I guess kind of in the middle of this on the left um so yeah so there'll probably be like a total of three empty lots because I'm thinking I'll do like maybe three homes on that bigger lot. But again, I'm so unsure. Because obviously we're not there yet. So I don't want to do too much thinking and etc. But yeah. Anyways, we're still working on the living room. I'm just... Or the living room? No, the kitchen. So I decided to put a bar because I plan for summer. In my head, she's going to be like a mixologist when she ever gets to that level. Um... And also the reason why she's not in university is because I couldn't find, like, the mixologist option for her degree. It could be because, like, um, it wasn't, like, a distinguished degree. So I don't know if, like, maybe it didn't show up because I think you start at level 5 when you do a degree, I believe. I think so. I'm not sure, but I think you do. And maybe, like, I maybe level 5 in the culinary career isn't, like when you need to choose a branch. I don't know if that's true, but like some careers have you choose a branch at level six or level seven or etc. I don't know if that's true, but like I'm pretty sure one of them is like level six probably. So later than level five or right down the middle. Um, but yeah, anyways, I am kind of thinking though, cause it would be fun to like make Summer's parents because as I said before, like, she lied to them about being in college. So, like, there's kind of a story there that can be told. Like, maybe her parents come into town and, I don't know, maybe they just 
keep asking her like oh what are your grades in college and you know like maybe a few years go by and she still hasn't graduated and they're questioning everything i mean i guess she could like order a fake diploma or something but like the truth always comes out so that is also a good choice and i was just making sure that the kitchen worked because the plant i placed is halfway on the counter that you need to cook on so thankfully it does work and for some reason liberty got the romance skill so i was like huh did she just flirt with travis um so yeah there's things that are already happening but yeah so liberty is a bookworm so in her bedroom i tried to make it look like that and then in my head travis does not have the active skill but i was thinking he was active and obviously he is into programming and video gaming so that's the vibe i went for in his room and the story here is why his um, wallpaper is the choice that it is is because I was thinking like the last owners they you know they were gonna renovate it but then like maybe they just I guess spent too much money and they couldn't finish it so I guess it's nice that they at least have flooring for them and yeah their walls are just unfinished so yeah I went for the high school year stuff of course I don't know I think that is nice and like as they progress and how and as they live on I guess you could like change their room to match their vibes I don't know I think it would be nice because like honestly I'm just like if you play with these sims I'm imagining like oh you can like move them out they could have their own home depending on how the story plans out because if they're a throuple then obviously they would live together forever and then you know if they don't end up together or maybe like Liberty ends up with Travis or Summer ends up with Travis or maybe Summer and Liberty ends up together. Um, yeah, who knows? But obviously, I don't know. I never had my Sim date Liberty Lee before, but I'm kind of interested with like the makeover I give her. I'm like, mm, maybe, I don't know, like maybe she would be an interesting partner and an interesting person to have a child with. I just, you know, I would love to see those genetics, but... Yeah, so I gave him like a nice PC in his room. He also has Amira and I also gave him like that very small TV from get to work and a gaming console so that way he can game in his room. I was planning on putting a beanbag but I don't think I actually did that so I guess he can play from the bed. That makes the most sense but I guess if you want it to be a little bit closer it would be nice to have a beanbag chair but honestly I'm not sure if that would even fit. So... Good thing I did not put it, I guess, because it feels a little tight in here, to be honest with you. And I also decided to give them laundry, so he has a hamper. And luckily for Liberty, she has her own ensuite bathroom. So yeah, she is clumsy, so I thought, like, maybe that's why they decided to give her the ensuite bathroom, because, you know, like, they don't want to clean up after her. That would be gross, you know? But yeah, we're now starting in her bedroom, and... I was going, I was trying to go for like a colorful vibe in here at first, but then I decided like why? I don't know, maybe not. I should have gave them like favorite colors. I don't think I did though. And in my head, I wanted to imagine like Liberty was good at picking out clothes. Like she has good fashion. I was going to put like a clothing rack in here, but there just wasn't enough room. So she has like a desk. She has like a little reading nook that she can read in. And the bed I'm going for right now, it gives off lesbian pride flag vibes. And I don't know, I just, I like that color scheme. I, I like it. It just reminds me of the time that I did like pride townhouses. So yeah, but I just, I thought I was kind of making the room a little too colorful. So yeah, it does change up a bit. And I also cut out her bathroom because it's just the bathroom. I don't think it's that interesting. And the video is going to be like 47 minutes, I believe, sped up five times. So right now, I actually sped it up two times and I decided to cut some things out. Um, so yeah, and then at the end of the video, I, I realized like, oh my gosh, why is this counting as CC? So I have this red shelf in my game, so it helps you like place things that don't place on certain objects. So like I have those dream home decorator shelves and our cabinets whatever you want to call them bins i don't i don't know but they don't slot anything to the top or at least not what i want it to slot to the top so i had to use like the red shelf to do that and yeah for some reason the red shelf was in the ceiling so i couldn't see it 
from the forest or the first floor I had to go to the ceiling and then put all walls down to notice or to see it basically but yeah anyways good thing I found out what it was because I was like I I don't even have that much build cc so like I don't know what I could have accidentally used but yeah her room is just it's not it's final yet like I changed the bed millions of times so we're not exactly there but we're close we're gonna get there soon eventually and yeah I think I go with like a high school years bed again so I was trying to go for this bed but yeah it's just it's so colorful and I don't know if Liberty is that colorful um I think in my head I kind of had like the roomies in my head a little bit basically Zoe Patel because her outfits are a little bit colorful so I think when I do her makeover I would make her colorful and her bedroom colorful and if you don't know those sims are loosely based on the show New Girls um so Jay Huntington is like Smith and then Gavin Richards is Winston and then Zoe Patel is Jess and then the other guy is Nick I don't know his name so I do apologize for that um but yeah I don't know I kind of think it would be fun to like kind of try to put a little bit of those characters vibes in there so like Nick he's very messy I would say so I want to make his bedroom messy I'm not gonna give them a makeover to look like the actual actors um because I think that would be weird I'm actually gonna make them how they look in the game right now but I think it would be fun if Zoe could be a teacher. I don't think she has a career. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to make her a teacher. Um, I believe Nick is like, I don't know, like in The Sims, but like Nick on the show, he's a bartender. Oh, could I make their friends TC? I don't know. I could. I could. That There's a chance, okay? But anyways, um, and then Winston, I, I don't remember. I don't know, honestly. Um, or Gavin. I don't know. And then Schmidt, I also don't remember. Um, business? I, I don't remember. I don't know, but yeah. Oh, and then there's Coach, but he's only, like, I don't know what season I'm on. Am I on season two? On season two, in season two, he's living there. So, but obviously he's not in there, in that household. So there's a lot of thinking to do, but we're not there yet and that's just in Oasis Springs so we're not even close to being there because this is only my third video for this main save file so yeah and I guess I do have to build a vet clinic for Willow Creek considering the fact that the landlord is a veterinarian because I guess both of the partners could be a landlord because like they're together they're married is my plan so they're both landlords but I'm assuming the other partner does most of that work while the other person is a vet. So yeah, I wonder how that's gonna look. I don't know, I don't know. I feel like sometimes when I go back to my builds, I don't like them anymore. Um, so like that's just horrible because I don't know what the vibe is gonna be in the other neighborhoods. Like this neighborhood is like very starter home vibes. Obviously the homes where people live in in this neighborhood, they're not starter homes, so sorry about that, but um, and then like in the Bella Goth neighborhood, I think it's a little bit more fancier, more expensive. Um, so I probably could probably use a lot of the expensive stuff in base game for those homes, but I don't even want to think about that. I don't want to think about it. I don't even want to think about the Willow Creek Park that I'm going to have to rebuild. I, I just, that's such a big lot. I don't even want to think about that. Like, what am I supposed to do? It's so big. I don't do parks because, like, mainly they're a bunch of, like, landscaping. And I just don't know how to do that. Also, it would probably be nice to have, like, a cemetery lot in every single world because that's just realistic. Like, do you really want to travel to, I guess, Mount Kamarebi if you live in Sulani? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, you know, that's just... I mean, I don't really play like that, though. I am i don't play realistically. Like, if my Sims live in Sulani, I'm going to be traveling to Santa Maishuno. I will travel to Mount Kamarebi if I need to. Like, I don't play like that. I don't play where it's like, oh, this place is just, like, it's just next door. I don't play like that. You know? I just, I don't. Like, I know it's crazy to some people, but I just, I don't play like that. So, because I don't know. It's just... 
it's so I don't know because like what if I need to go to the vet clinic you know like I could place one from the gallery but I just I don't care to play that realistic um that's just me um but anyways we're moving on to Summer's bedroom and her bedroom is very not looking like a teenager's bedroom but I think that's good I guess she um has a treadmill so that's good so I'm thinking like um Travis and Summer has like the video gaming skills so I think that's what brings them close together and then Liberty and Travis is a geek so I think that's what brings them together but I believe they all game together which is fun um and yeah so the hallway to like Travis's room is so empty like the hallway space is so empty to me like I don't know what to put in there I did put like a bar height table and since Summer does not have like a desk I put a laptop on there that is for her and yeah there's a laundry room as well I don't know if I mentioned that I feel like I did um yeah she also has like a soccer ball outside I put a rocket ship for Liberty um when I give you the tour it's already going to be built because I cheated it to be built um and I don't think if you like download this from the gallery like well actually no I already saved it to my gallery without it being built but if you do place down like a rocket ship from the gallery that is already built it does not stay so it's fine but I believe we probably should be moving on to the laundry room after this um pretty simple I put like the attic box in there I put like the vacuum cleaner all that good stuff I guess I don't know like some people find laundry annoying I don't think it's that bad um the same with like the vacuuming I don't think it's the worst thing in the world um obviously I can understand why you don't want your sims to do chores I always feel like for me it depends on how many sims are in the household I cannot play with eight sims it's so overwhelming like I don't know how people do it like it's so rough um it's just it's so hard like you can't it's just hard to like focus on every single one of them because there's eight of them, you know, like it's hard to take care of all of their needs um, because you can't see all of their needs at the same time, of course. But yeah, it's just rough. Um, I literally, I don't know, but I just can't. It's too hard. It is too hard. I just, I don't know. Because like, I feel like if I needed to play in an eight sim household, there would probably be like two parents and then six kids. And I feel like the kids would need to be like very far away from each other's ages just for me to be like sane um because like I just twin infants are the worst triplet infants are the worst like it's just it's too much like the only way I could get by is by cheating and I don't know if like that's a good thing but I don't know one thing I hate I mean one thing I'll say about the sims community is like obviously um if something is like inappropriate in the game that you're doing like yeah I would judge you um if you know you know I'm not gonna mention it here I'm not gonna name it but like some people will like be like oh play the game how you want whatever is fun to you and then they'll emphasize how your way of playing is so boring like it's fine to say it once but you don't have to like say it five more times I don't know like like you're really you're doing too much you don't have to say it's boring five times to do this and to do that you know anyways but yeah um anyways I just I don't know like I don't know I feel like it's I feel like for me specifically it's like the oh I have too much money oh uh, so boring etc and it's like I don't know I don't feel that way sometimes like I don't know I'm I feel like I don't really think about the money too much like I don't know I don't know how to explain it like I think my sims in my ABC legacy household has like 40,000 simoleons and that's just because her mother lives with her and she's gonna move back out so I just decided to keep that money because why not it's not gonna hurt anyone but yeah it's just I don't think it's that boring especially if you have a challenge going on because like you probably want to focus on that and you don't really have to focus on the money I suppose um but yeah I don't know I just I guess you have to like keep yourself busy to not like get bored basically um but yeah anyways I don't know I, I cheat my money away sometimes because like I don't know like it's either I cheat to get the house I want 
and then I'm like left over with too much money and it's like well we're just starting this generation so I'll cheat them down to like 5,000 simoleons or something but yeah we're finally moving on to the backyard it seems like so we're just putting in like the last touches but yeah, I just, I don't know. I would never emphasize how boring your ways of playing is. I don't know. It's just, I think it's so weird to be like, play how you want. But just know this part is so boring. It's so boring. It's so boring. Just say it once and move on, okay? You can just move on. You don't have to keep saying it. Because then it just doesn't seem like, I don't know. But anyways... We're just working a little bit on the landscaping, getting some bushes down. I gave them like a grill, a umbrella table. I gave them some gardening patches. And then there is the 5,000 simoleon rocket ship. Um, that is a lot of money. I also gave them a chess table because Liberty has like the logic skills. So she has a chess table. I guess I could have also gave them a telescope. That would have been nice as well, but I did not. And I also gave them a bike. There's only one bike though, so that's very unfortunate for them. And yeah, yeah, I don't know, pretty simple. I gave them a trash can as well, can't forget about that. And I don't know if I show you me doing the, I guess, terrain paint. I don't think I do, but I'm just putting some extra clutter in the bookshelves and we should be good with everything. I'm just checking around. I think I also put like some light switches, but I'm going to hop into the game and give you guys a tour. So this is where the BFF household lives. So they live on a 30 by 20 directly in front of the first home I built. So I guess I will show you in live mode. This is what it looks like on the outside. We have a chess table, a basketball court, and a bike. We have a birdhouse. We have wind chimes and a bench. And then when you walk in, you walk into the living room. Right now they're just playing video games. This is just pretty much what it looks like. And then over here is the kitchen space. So I put like a little bar and yeah. They have a microwave and a mixer and then over here is summer's bedroom so yeah pretty nice she has like a soccer ball a bookshelf a mirror a hamper and her treadmill and then if we walk this way we can see that we have a thermostat and then this is liberty's bedroom so she has like a little reading space over here a little reading nook she also has a desk area and then this is her ensuite bathroom so i put her hamper in her bathroom and then down this hall we come to the bar height table so this is summer's laptop and and then over here we have the laundry room so that is also very nice they have the attic box and a vacuum and then this is travis's bedroom so yeah he's definitely into sports he has his hamper and he's also into programming and gaming so he has his very own pc he also has a small tv in his room with a gaming console he has some music and then this is like the shared bathroom between summer and travis and then when you walk outside we have our table our grill and our rocket ship and we also have these gardening plots and our trash can so yeah that is the full build i eventually want to add photos of them in here together obviously that is a process and also you can't upload the house with pictures or else it's going to count as cc so that will probably just be for the save file but if you want to download it it's on my gallery at sims delicious and of course i used almost everything but if you want to download it my gallery id is just sims delicious and yeah i think i will in the video off here so if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe i love you you are important and i will see you guys tomorrow bye